going on guys just uh, got the canoe down to the pond here probably hear vehicles passing by on the highway brought the canoe down first I'm gonna go back for my backpack and stuff decided to double carry just down here because uh, I've got my fish finder and stuff so my tackle box uh, left Lukey home today uh, just gonna go out for a nice relaxing paddle and uh, do some trout fishing and probably some trolling but uh, yeah just gonna run back to the car now and grab everything else and we'll uh, get the canoe in the water this is the first day since uh, opening day of trout season that it hasn't been uh, really really windy Got a new addition to the canoe this year. Got a got a rod holder. So I've got my fish finder here. And what I'm gonna try to do is stick this right to the bottom of the canoe. I don't have the arm that you know that holds the the transducer beside the boat. So this is the way I'm gonna try it for now. Hopefully it'll work out. I had it stuck on the boat just in my driveway and it seemed to be pretty pretty sturdy so I just hope I don't go in shallow water you don't scrape this thing right off the bottom of the boat. Alright guys, tried that pond for I don't know an hour and a half rolled back and forth and tried a few different uh, techniques there but didn't even get a bite so got the canoe pulled up here we're gonna walk that way there's another pond I've been there a lot of times before in my videos so you guys might recognize it but we'll go that way and give it give it another try Just gonna walk down to this next little pond, it's just down through here. Brook runs out here into that one. You see it's very windy down there. Well, I'll take my two rods, fly rod and spin cast, and uh, we'll have a try down here. I got skunked here in the winter too. Came here in the winter and uh, never even got a bite. I was just wondering uh, when I came in, I seen an otter bob his head up there. That could be why there's no trout biting. Maybe there's no trout left here. I don't know. There are not many left. That sucks because it was uh, this is one of my favorite places to go. Nice and close to the highway, you know, if you want to make a quick trip after supper or something. It's not too bad, right? But we'll have a few more tries here. Beauty day. What's going on? Lukey and I uh, down the cabin here for the night. Already like quarter to six or something like that in, in the evening. A bit late getting down here, but 
got a couple of little projects to do so decided to come down spend the night try to get something done tonight and uh, then spend the, the morning here maybe the afternoon as well tomorrow but I'll show you one of the projects I have I got a sink here I want to get in here but it's just barely gonna fit in there and I'm gonna have a gray water bucket on there this is a little bit of plumbing so doing the dishes and stuff in the sink and just pull the plug fill up the gray water bucket brought down skill saw the blue 80 to run the power tools and I'm going to uh, and I'm going to uh, use this template I made to uh, mark it out and uh, hopefully it works out you know I'm only gonna have one shot at this so hopefully I don't mess it up <laughs> And I don't have anything to mark it with except the pin, but a pin won't work on this. So I'm going to have to scratch a mark. Yeah, that's something good. That is electrical tape. Garbage. Now a normal person would have a drill to start this, but of course I don't. So I gotta pound a hole through there with a nail or something. Forgot my cordless drill. It just came out and guess what? I don't have a Allen key to fit that. Oh buddy. Just as she was looked like just as it looked like it was gonna work out, eh? <laughs> nope. It's like a log cabin miracle. I uh had an old dollar store screwdriver bit set here and I actually had a bit to fit those uh, allen keys there so so we'll try it again <laughs> let's get her done where's the blue ready <laughs> I'm pumped I'm pumped it's meant to be meant to be guys let's go let's go chop some of this 2x4 out of there. I guess I'll have to use my axe for that. But let's just see. Ba, 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 da. Yeah, it's gonna fit, but... shit through it. God, 
más. Okay. Well, it ain't too pretty. I guess it'll work. What I'll do is have the gray water bucket down below. I'll get a hose. Then you can dump the bucket. Eventually, I'd like to have uh, water collection out back from the roof. Collect rainwater. Have a little tap here. That'd be pretty nice. A little after 9 p.m. Just finished painting this window. I'm gonna paint uh, paint the big one tomorrow and uh, paint the outside of it as well. What a day. What a morning. Hello. Some fog rolling in.
This is just uh, the old strapping I used to keep the old uh, roofing material on with. I had it stored behind the cabin. Just want to get rid of it though. So I've got this smoke and carbon monoxide detector. Had it here for a while, just never, never got it put up, but I'm going to try to place it up there today somewhere. You have paint on your nose? Someday. Someday on clothes, Luke. Beauty day. Me and Luke just down the cabin for a little bit. Got a few things to do here. Just had the drone out, actually. Got some nice pictures of the cabin and stuff. Beautiful day. Actually stopped uh, on the way in here. Stopped at... Uh, Stopped at one of my uh, fishing places there where I'm building the other cabin and uh, I caught like seven trout but none were really big enough to keep. I was going to cook lunch here but let them all go again. Got a few things to do here. I had to bring down some supplies and stuff and uh, just going to grab a cup of tea now and uh, maybe take a little walk down to the beaver pond there. We have a little try with the fly rod now at the beaver pond. Hello. 